What's good, everybody? It is your girl, Tika Deshaun. Thank you so much for tuning into All Things Ruthless Channel, home of the Ruthless Addicts. While you're here, go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe button for notification of all new content because your girl is going to try to give you everything week by week, all things Ruthless, okay? All right, y'all, let's get into it. So our girl, Nancy, has made her way to the Rocka Douchey Compound. Y'all, I know I didn't go back and talk about the Oval last week, um, but my biggest um, concern is this Halson family. Um, they are literally, all three of them are so hard-headed. So Nancy, after being told by multiple people, decided she was going to go ahead and make her way to the Rockadushi compound. Well, once she approached the Rockadushi compound, she sees Callie and she yells Callie, and it yells the baby girl's name, Um, and then she ends up getting out of the car. Now, as soon as she steps out the car, there's a guard, one of the Rockadushi, big Rockadushi guards, standing right there and attempts to snatch her up and take her onto the Rockadushi compound. Well, little old Nancy makes an attempt at fighting this big old guy, and he go ahead and then snatches her up so easily, keeps her from getting into her car. She tries to grab her phone. He snatches her phone out of her hand. Then not only does he snatch his, her phone out of her hand, he kind of flings her a little bit to like force her towards the gate, for, towards the Rockadushi compound. And she says, I'm not doing anything wrong. I'm just out here on the road. He says, this road belongs to us as well. So then Nancy, like I said, she tries to fight him off. This guy is so big over Nancy. And shout out to Patosha's story. If y'all have ever seen her in person, she's a little lady. So shout out to her on this on this little particular stunt. Anyway, the guy, um, the Rockadusha soldier, ends up hitting her in the head with a gun. And she begins to have an asthma attack. Now, you know anybody on the Rockadusha compound has no sympathy for anybody. This dude says... Well, oh, you got asthma. Well, we can heal you on the rock on the compound. We can heal you. Like seriously, the only thing y'all gonna end up doing is drugging her. But anyway, he grabs her and they make their way to the rock Edition compound. Like I told y'all, I'm concerned about the Halston family, and my concerns were legit. I had been wondering, 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 well, where the heck is Barry? Not just me, but everybody had been wondering where the heck is Barry. Well, y'all. Man, Barry gone. Barry is gone. Barry is dead, dead. He's laid out on Kareem's bed. So Kareem walks into the house, into his apartment after, you know, all the stuff him and Sharon at the store and all of that. So he walks into his apartment, goes to the refrigerator to grab a beer. Then he makes his way into his bedroom, drops the bottle. And we see why he dropped the ball. There is Barry in that same yellow hoodie laid out on his bed, blood everywhere. Now, it's really real that Barry is gone from the show, you guys. But how long, my question is, how long will it take for Nancy and Richard and even Sam to find out about Barry being dead? Listen, I was on set and I'm going to tell y'all. The scene is crazy. I don't know if they're going to show this scene, but if they do, I'm going to bring it to you guys. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy, crazy. But Barry is gone for sure. Um, Von Hebro, who plays Barry, took to Instagram yesterday to say, well, Oval fans, it's been fun. After three crazy fun seasons, Barry has met his end. Thank you all for supporting him through his twisted journey to find his daughter. LOL. The thing I will miss the most is times like these running rehearsals of these crazy ass scenes with a phenomenal cast who was doing 110 plus pages a day, laughing and joking with one another right before we got on camera to cry or cuss one another out and really just acting our butts off to bring these characters to life. I thank you all for everything you brought to set. It has inspired and helped me grow as an actor and a man. I will miss you. Lastly, thank you, Mr. Perry, for giving me my first shot and helping launch my career. I will always be grateful. Yes, Barry is officially gone from 
the Oval from the Hudson family. Like I said, we don't know how long it's going to take for Richard and Nancy to actually discover that Barry is dead. And will Kareem actually go to Barry and Richard or Nancy and Richard and say, hey, your son's body is at my apartment? Will he even call the police or will he try to do something to disguise the fact that Barry is gone so that they don't pin it on him? Just my concerns about what will possibly happen next for the family, Richard and Nancy Hawson, y'all. It's going down. It's going down. It has gotten crazy. And uh, Von Hero, <laughs> who plays Barry, also one of you guys know, look, I'm not 50 years old. That's my dad. Everybody had been, are you 50? Are you 50? He can't be 50. Well, he and his father, Von Hebrew Sr., have the exact same name, and they are 20 years apart. With that being said, thank y'all so much for tuning in to my oval recap, the Halston family version, as well as the Rockadushi compound version. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. And if you guys want to see more of the Halstons, make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button for notification of all new content, okay? Thank y'all so much. You guys stay ruthless.